This is Off Track, your one-stop shop for everything W Series, all the behind the scenes stuff. This race comes to you from Singapore and the Marina Bay circuit. But before that, here's what's coming up. Twenty-three corners, over five kilometers. This is Singapore. Water, fan, umbrella. Your three best friends. They're all really noise cancelling. <laughs> You're not pregnant, are you? Yes. I like him as an actor. That was a very political answer. My favorite seat food, I think, is Nutella. It's W Series' first time at an Asian circuit, so it's time for a TED talk. And this one is a track talk by TED. W Series Singapore, the Marina Bay street circuit. And it couldn't be a more challenging track for cars and drivers. The heat, the humidity, the pressure. 23 corners, over five kilometers, the most challenging circuit on the calendar. Turns one, two, and three, underneath the flyover, tight and twisty, always a risk of contact. Turn five, all about traction for the run down Marina Drive. Then it's up the gears, down the gears, left, right, left, right. Turn eight, a slow right-hander. Turn 11 and 12, maximum concentration, do not lose focus here. Then it's over the Anderson Bridge and into the turn 13 hairpin. Unlucky for some. The slightest breather on the back straight, and then you're preparing for a critical series of chicanes. Then it's turn 19, turn left underneath the grandstand. Underneath the grandstand? And then finally, it's the run for home. 21, 22, and 23. Bold, brilliant, breathless. This is Singapore. This weekend, W Series will be breaking new ground with our first ever race in Asia. One driver who knows a thing or two about racing in Singapore is Bianca Bustamante. Okay, Bianca, so Singapore has replaced Japan on the calendar. You've been pretty vocal about how excited you are about that. Fun fact, actually, I got to race at the F1 circuit at Singapore, so Singapore is definitely a memorable one for me. My very first race was, international race was in Singapore and my racing team were based in Singapore and just everyone I know basically. So I'll, I'll definitely have lots of supporters over there. Well, it's gonna be a very demanding and challenging circuit. We know that it's very narrow. There's a lot of corners making you work the steering wheel. Obviously not to mention the crazy weather that there is in Singapore. Yes. Do you think you're up for the challenge? <laughs> it's, it's always a new challenge every race weekend, but for sure Singapore is gonna be a very difficult one. You know, street circuit. One of the most demanding tracks for sure and like you said it's very bumpy, very humid so weather is going to be a big of a, a challenge for us but I guess coming from Asia it's never really been a big problem for me. What advice would you give to your fellow drivers about racing in that kind of climate? Um, drink lots of water. Water, fan, umbrella. Your three best friends <laughs> for sure. Street circuits require limit, limited mistakes so going to be trying not and like getting mistakes a lot of times there. So you just started to touch there on some of the physical changes you need to make for a track like that. How else do you prepare for such a demanding race? Uh, well, Sim is my best friend apparently now um, and of course physically we need to train a lot. I train almost every day and I've seen it help me a lot whenever I'm driving. I get to hustle the car more and really push on entries and for sure a track like that, that's what it cars the most. Well, although it isn't very, very close to your home in the Philippines, are you considering this some sort of home race for you? Uh, for sure, you know, like just being in the same time zone, same continent, it's definitely a big boost for me. Uh, I know there will be a lot of Filipino um, supporters that, that are going to be flying to Singapore. Like the minute they knew that it was announced, uh, they all bought tickets, bought flights, and so it's going to be really cool for me. Fantastic. Well, you're going to have a lot of support out there, and I am just as excited as you about that race. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so just a reminder of our championship standings before we head to the first Asian race for W Series in Singapore. It's Jamie Chadwick out in the lead with 143 points, followed by Alice Powell on 68 points, equal to Baitska Visser. Next up, we sat down with Jamie and Emma for a little game about trust with a bit of sensory deprivation. So our drivers need to put a lot of trust in each other to ensure safe and exciting racing. The car's on the wall. The contact! Oh, contact again! But the question is, how much do they trust each other off track? Now, we've put together a little experiment, ladies, that hopefully will show how much trust you have in each other. So we've got this little experiment. One of you will wear these headphones. 
while the other calls someone in your phone book and they'll help you, guide you through the conversation without you be, being able to hear the call at all. So like go through and delete half my contact. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like they don't really have much trust in each other to begin with, yeah, but... I do, I don't <laughs> okay, headphones on, Emma. So what are you thinking, Jamie? Who are you going to call? Um, I think we go straight in with the top boss. The top yeah. boss? CBM? CBM. I feel okay. like they probably speak quite a lot anyway. I have a feeling she's not going to answer. Mm. Why are people... Hi, Emma. Oh, hi. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks. Um, uh, when are you arriving? Tonight, I'm at Charlotte Mall Airport at the moment, and I'm on my way. Let's drink. Let's drink. <laughs> What's wrong? Are you up for it? Yeah, I am tonight. What, is anything wrong? N no, no, everything's good. Good. But really, really good. <laughs> really good. <laughs> You're not going to tonight. <laughs> yes. When you said really good, ha ha, that could be a pregnancy. It is. It is. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Catherine. <laughs> Catherine, it's <laughs> Jamie. We're doing a what challenge um, for part of filming. I'm sorry, but that was so, I'm very, so I'm good. I'm very scared of what I said oh. yes to. <laughs> she said, are you pregnant? No <laughs> way, she didn't. She <laughs> said yes. 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 That would be oh, overwhelmingly too much. <laughs> you are all horrible. <laughs> that was, that good. was so good. You tapped out of that so quickly. I got, I got way too stressed. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm literally loading into it. I think you're pregnant now, so I'm, I'm done. <laughs> oh, wow. They are really noise cancelling. <laughs> Who are we going to call for Jamie? I think our um, driver coordinator, Evelina. Oh, She's yes. pretty like Straight. straightforward. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. Hi. Where's my Have bag? You? Where's my bag? Your bag? Yes, my bag. I don't know. What do you mean, sorry? Well, my bag. You apparently you lost it. <laughs> I haven't touched your bag, Jamie. I've been in my room. <laughs> Yeah, so you have my bag? <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. I'm, I'm sure. Okay. You have it? <laughs> or not? You don't have your bag. I can't find it. <laughs> it's got all my stuff in it. And, and you have it? <laughs> I don't have it. Yes. Yes. I'm positive. No. I'm, I'm negative. <laughs> Okay, whatever. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> she, I don't. Uh, know. Okay, that was really good. I'm just gonna well, have to message her. You don't have my bag. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. I think what you guys now need to do is send a lot of uh, apology texts uh, and explaining <laughs> yourselves. Especially, really saying I'm not 100% not pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So Jamie is definitely on a hot streak here at W Series. Speaking of hot stuff, we spoke to a couple of our drivers to find out what they think is hot and what they think is not. Okay, ladies, I have a list of things here in front of me and I hope you guys will be able to tell me what you think on the list is hot and what you think is not. All right. Ready? So the first thing on the list is W Series. Hot. hot. <laughs> <laughs> We're racing here, all cool places. So yeah, no doubt about that. The next one is Ryan Reynolds. Uh, I mean, I like him as an actor, so I mean, yeah, I guess I would say hot. I like some of his movies. That was a very political answer. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Chloe thinks Ryan Reynolds' acting skills are hot. Third on the list is coffee. Oh, hot. Not. Huh? Huh? What? Not. Not. <laughs> so what do you drink if you don't drink coffee? Um, I drink water. I drink iced tea. I mean, coffee is mostly water, you know. Yeah, but then with a bad taste in it. <laughs> oh. Fourth on the list is this season's car. Hot. Hot. 
I think that this car is something so different, but I mean, I think there are a lot of good things about it. Um, well, I've driven this car for a bit. I mean, anything with uh, four wheels and an engine, I, I, I will call hot. But uh, yeah, I've been enjoying it so far. Naomi Schiff. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell me why. <laughs> I can't say not when you're standing right here. But would you say not if I wasn't standing here? Only your hair already. Thank you. Ed Sheeran. Hot. He's popular and all, and I have I'm kind of forced to listen to him on the radio when it comes on. But I mean, I would say I would say not. Really? I don't. I mean, don't think I'm Ed more iffy hot. about his music and everything. Racing in the rain. Hot. Okay, you guys agree on something. <laughs> <laughs> I still prefer dry, but uh, yeah, rain now and then is fun as well. Okay, lastly, your season so far. I, mean, I guess hot. I mean, I haven't done the series before, so I think I'm doing well enough. <laughs> what about you, Skin? I'm gonna say hot and not. Better than last year, but I always want better. <laughs> but you still want to get back to 2019. Better than that. Challenging yeah. for yeah. the championship. Yeah, that's the goal. Okay, well, what do you guys think of each other's seasons? I think she's done good so far. I mean, it's not, not easy to, to jump in as a rookie compared to us who driven most of the tracks already last year, so I think she's doing well. I mean, I think Vice is doing pretty hot. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I've watched the previous two seasons, but I think there are a lot of differences between the seasons that you can't really compare them directly to each other. Teresa, you're probably wondering why you're just wearing socks at the moment, and that's because we've got a really fun challenge for you. From what I hear, you're quick on track. So now we want to find out how quick you are off track. The trick is you've got to get your boots on, your gloves on, your balaclava, your helmet and your hands device, everything tied up, ready to go, ready to race style. How quick do you think you can do it? I think 54 seconds, something like that, maybe. 54, that's a very specific number and it's ambitious. Okay, well, I'm looking forward to seeing it, so let's go. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay, Therese, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. In three, two, one, go. So, much like many drivers, Teresa decides to start with the shoes. She's decided she's going to tie them up. She's pretty quick at that. Okay, we're at 10 seconds already. Oh, we're stalling a little bit on the second shoe. She's got it. I think she's doing a double knot there. Oh, struggles on the second shoe for Teresa. She grabs the hands device. Oh, grabbing the gloves, getting the gloves. Oh, that's a new strategy. No one's got the, the gloves first. Okay, so she's going to put her balaclava on next. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if she chooses to put the gloves on before the hands device or... No, uh, okay. Mm, I don't know what I was saying there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so she's got her helmet on. Uh, not on, she's not put the gloves on. I hope she won't lose one. Okay, so she's in the car. She's now oh, struggling with the gloves a little bit. Okay, first glove is on. Oh, almost on, now it's on. Okay, the second glove is going on. It's on, quickly, quickly, quickly. And struggling to get the steering wheel on. Some more struggles with the steering wheel. Oh, oh my God, Keep pushing, push, push. Okay, it's done. okay, stop. So it is a one minute, 22.7 seconds for Teresa. Unfortunately, she takes a five second penalty because she doesn't have any hands clips. So that's a one minute, 26. 7.7 Okay, Teresa, well, it was a 1 minute 22.7 for you, but unfortunately you take a 5 second penalty for not having hands clips. Uh, it started off pretty well for you with the first boot, and then it all started to go downhill from the second boot. Tell us what happened. I think even with the first one, I started struggling with tying the shoelaces a bit, and then I think I grabbed the gloves pretty quickly, but then uh, I was struggling a bit with uh, tying my helmet, like in so much pressure. And then after, when I got in the car, I struggled to put on the steering wheel for so long, so that took ages, so it was way below my expectations. One of our regular features here on Off Track is five things. Now, I love to get to know more about the drivers, and this week, you're gonna hear from one of my good friends. It's Marta Garcia.
my favorite track to race at in karting was Ortona in Italy and uh, in single seaters I would say um, from the ones that I've been um, probably a Spa uh, and Austin I also enjoyed that track. My favorite racing driver ever uh, at the moment is Lewis Hamilton. Um, I know right now he's not doing so well, uh, but he's been like mega all of these years. I think he um, kind of influenced me somehow as well. Like he inspires a lot of people, I think. And he's like, for me, the best uh, racing driver ever. So when I'm away from track, what I like to do is go out with friends, um, have a drink, uh, go to the beach, uh, just like chill. Uh, like I'm a really like, I want to do stuff. It's, like I cannot stay home. I'm so bored if I do that. So I always like to um, meet people as well or things like this. My favorite cheat food, I think is Nutella uh, with bread. Like Nutella with bread is like amazing. I have a pet, uh, it's a Shih Tzu. Um, I like her so much, like she's my dog obviously, but if I would have a pet in the near future, uh, I would love it to be a golden, just like balanced um, uh, dog. Like I always wanted to have this dog. That's it for this episode, but we'll be back with more of track next time, so make sure not to miss any of the action and what went down in Singapore.